Good morning, Central Texas. Welcome to Kiss Community Connections, 103.1 Kiss FM. I'm Phyllis Jones, your host for this morning. You know what? You all gonna hear some real fun this morning. I mean, real fun because you know, I know we have fun all the time, but this morning's gonna be a special kind of fun because we're gonna tell the truth to some of those stories that y'all heard. And then the movie that came out about our city, we're just not happy about it, really, because we know they're not gonna tell the truth. But in uh, in 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 Detroit today, which is Sunday. 50 years ago in 1967, Detroit had what people call a race riot. If you, and what I'm saying, people, people who don't live in Detroit, called it a race riot. But we in Detroit, we just thought it was a fight of a bunch of group of people that just got bigger and it just kept moving. And then we had martial law for yeah. seven days. And I was in elementary school. So, no, I, would, I hadn't graduated yet. I was in elementary school. And when I saw the tanks coming down my aunt's street, I thought it was really cool. I wanted to ride on the tank. But anyway, yeah, that shows you I was an elementary kid. I didn't even know any better. But uh, I have John Crow. How y'all doing? And I always tease him because he graduated from the blue school. The blue school. Mumford High. Y'all know that. <laughs> who that? Who that? <laughs> and then I have Sue Croft. Girl, what, what school you graduated from? Southeastern High, well, 1969. Oh, no, she gave her age. <laughs> I try not to hold it. Southeastern High, Lord. You can't look this good at Lord. my age. Okay? You well, can't look this good. Well, okay, I, 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 I graduated from deep in the middle. I graduated from a high school that I didn't even live near. I lived near Cody High, uh, Co Cooley High Cooley School. High, yeah. But I graduated, I graduated from Central High School. Central, oh, that's where we sent all them thugs. We sent the thugs to Central. Yes, y'all did. Yes, yes, we did. Yeah. In fact, it was, you know, in our school, and I'm going to just say. And I'm going to just say. The Pearl Flynn's. <laughs> all them people. I'm, I'm going to just say I was doomed because my counselor was Miss High, which right. is Joe Lewis's sister. That was not cool having her right, as a counselor. Right. It wasn't good at all. Uh, you know, and then, you know, Central High, we were just the unique people. Okay, yeah, yeah, y'all was different, y'all different people. I didn't even mess with Central High. I was... We were the trailblazers. Yeah, y'all blazed some trails. Yes, you did. Brand, brand, brand new things happened out there. Okay, but yeah, we're going to talk about the riot from not a perspective of what we read. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the riot as the perspective of us, what we saw. What we saw, yeah. So what, what we saw. So what happened that morning, John, when, you know, when the big fight turned into a big fight? You see... Again, I'm in school. I'm in, I'm in uh, Schultz Elementary. <clears throat> and, yeah, y'all know about that. Schultz. <laughs> Get it. Got to be real. You in Schultz. We in, our furnace, you shovel coal into the furnace to get heat. That's how Schultz roll. So, um, they told us, go home. Close the school. And, you know, so we're kids. We're walking out. They told us to run home. But the thing about it was... I never heard Detroit that quiet. No noise. You could hear each other breathing, it was so quiet. Birds weren't flying, dogs were barking, no traffic noise, no bug noise. Just dead silence when you walked out of that school. And that's what scared you worse, um, was that it was, it was so quiet. And so, you know, everybody's running home, you can hear each other <laughs> running, 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 running. And, but, through a neighborhood where no cars are moving, no sounds of just, you know, the neighborhood, mm -hmm. normal sounds was right. happening, none of that. And then, um, you know, we got home and, you know, my parents were not watching because color TV was kind of not there, <laughs> okay? So uh, you we were listening to it on the radio and they were tracking where this disturbance was. You know, I'm right. young, I really don't know what's, what is happening, right? Right. And, uh, it's on six mile and it's on seven mile and it's and it's here and, and and for us it boxed us in right and then we started hearing the sirens and then you know we smell the smoke and the sky turned kind of orange to just mm -hmm. you know like a haze right this is in daytime now yeah, right there you go. and yeah. my, but my dad he was a unique person <laughs> uh he was he, he he was king of the block and he went outside he was gonna be getting in the middle of that and he came back with war stories saying how he saw two-year-olds with trays of jewelry running down the street <laughs> because they had robbed the uh you know somebody broke the window of the, of the jewelry store and they just grabbed the tray and ran out 
people were looting and stuff and how bad it was. And he I remember I remember him sitting up with with, with um handheld howitzers and on our front porch all night, cleaning with shotguns and whatnot, waiting for somebody to come get us. It, and uh, it never happened. But we, and he kept and, then, and our block was pretty much untouched. Right. And he, and he kept us safe. But it was and but it, you got to think I'm like maybe five years old. Mm -hmm. Right, and but that burned itself into my memory. Yeah. When even when my before my father passed, we would talk about. It. He said, "How do you remember that? You couldn't have been no one burned itself yeah. into my memory because mm -hmm. it, it, that that whole episode around in there, and there was so much more that went on. Um, you know, family because you know back then you had a rotary phone. Yeah. <laughs> if you messed up, a, if you messed up a number, you had to start all, all over, over again. again. There was no. <laughs> Was no backspace. Was no cell phones. People, this is this is a different time in America. Okay, so if you mess up, then what were three seven thousand? Yeah, it was. You know, it, it's hard. It was. You had to know what you was doing and be determined about it. And so, you know, calling family members became an issue because you could still call somebody to get a busy signal, <laughs> and that that was all it was. You know, so you know, the keeping in touch and making sure that everybody was okay was you know a different thing then and but it, but it, but it was um you know if you couldn't call you drove down there mm -hmm. y'all good yeah you know the phone line is down the phone line is down not cell phone towers people phone lines <laughs> uh you know it, and 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 and, and, it, and it, uh it but it burned it burned itself into your memory so mm -hmm. the stuff i haven't seen the movie yet i have not right I have, I, yeah. uh I, i've seen you know, some of the previews and things like that but um i would tell you that it probably did. It probably will not capture the 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 feeling of the residents of right. Detroit. It's a Hollywood perspective, mm -hmm. but it's not going to capture the people the feeling of the people who live there, who went yeah. through it, like you know my family did, and and, and Miss Niecy's family probably did. Well, Miss Niecy, because she had graduated, you know, from <laughs> that other spot over there. So she, was, she was out there in them streets, y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all something. This is an old thug right here. <laughs> I was still in high school. I was still in junior high school. I was going to Foch Junior High. Oh, wow. Foch Junior High. Can't spell it. F-O-C-H Junior High. And I graduated from Southeastern High School. Well, a lot of people don't realize that even though you all went to, you went to school that morning, uh -huh. that fight happened early in the morning yes it did very early in the morning mm -hmm. and it started out there down there on jefferson right now where the uh, the 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 assembly plant is okay, it's, yeah, it's yeah. down there on jefferson mm -hmm. and it started at a little a little uh uh, uh corner store mm -hmm. where some white guys had came in and got in got in a fight with these black guys and you know back then you know, step aside, we want to come in. Yeah. And and these black guys wasn't going to have it. These Negroes wasn't going to have it. <laughs> and, and so then a, a fight ensued. Then uh, this is the way I, I, I remember it from the mm -hmm. news. Then the white guys came back with a whole bunch of there. more white guys. Then some of it came back with some more black guys and then it became a real big fight mm -hmm. and we're hearing this all over the radio just mm -hmm. like you said and it's spreading to different parts of town well what a lot of people don't realize that detroit was was a very uh, was a very separate uh uh, city. Yes. You had your Polish over here. Mm -hmm. You had your your. Well, there weren't that many Hispanics, but we were. Yeah. There were yeah. Italians. Yeah, you know, there Italian. was Italians. Jew then, yeah. you, then, yeah. then you had your, your Jews, mm -hmm. and then you had your Greeks. But then you had the East Side of Detroit, which was very multicultural. East mm -hmm. Side of Detroit mm -hmm. was extremely multicultural. Because we had Indian Village down there, yeah, yeah. and that's where all the money money was. Yeah. But we lived, what I know, know that we lived in a nice neighborhood. And every black person that lived in on my block and in my community, they had a business. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. their business wasn't too far from home. Right. We had prices, uh, 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 Candy store down there, you know the candy store. Oh yeah, the candy you run store. down the corner to the corner Get store. Real bad he had candy. a corner store. The shoe <laughs> shop was around there. 
the yeah. cleaners was around <laughs> there. The construction ivories construction company was right across the street. My dad had a junkyard. You know, that's where I learned all my entrepreneurial skills at the junkyard. You can learn something at the junkyard. <laughs> and then they all, and then it starts spreading. Now, how it got over to our area is because our multicultural area, mm -hmm. everybody went out to see what was Boy, happening. Yeah. And we went down there on Mac Avenue. Mm. And that, oh yeah, Mac, 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 Riot like the riots of before. Yeah, it was a looting fest. Yes, it was. <laughs> That's all it yeah. was. A yeah. looting fest. Yeah. It was not a riot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I haven't. I didn't know there was a movie coming out. Yes, and it is. I want to see it's that movie. Detroit. And it's called Detroit. And and I want to see <laughs> if it's as accurate as it says, but and not a whole lot of uh, what do, what do you call um. Uh, Hollywood, 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 Hollywood sensationalism, sensationalism yeah. because yeah. all it was was a loot fest. It was. It was nothing it, it but was. a loot fest. It was. And and did I loot? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> of course she not. Was already on Mac and Conan with a loot. <laughs> <on the head. laughs> I'm like, you know, she just looking. She, she, I'm looking to see was what was going on. She was shopping. And then and then when you even you when they your stuff off the ground. Oh, well, there was a whole lot of stuff now, on the ground. See, there you go. Yeah, and you, you, you know, know. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, <laughs> you know, they, you know, everybody, then the police came and everybody had to go back in the house. And so I just walked down the street to my house. And, and then the next thing you know, tanks. Martial law. Martial <laughs> law. Tanks were everywhere. And uh, we climbed on because you know the National Guard was right there at Bell Isle. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they came yeah. and they came right into you know down mm -hmm. Mac Avenue where everything yeah. was. If it, if if nothing happened on the East Side except on Mac Avenue, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. and Jefferson, Jefferson, yes, Jefferson, yes. Jefferson yeah. and Mac yeah. Avenue. Yeah. And so I'm I'm like we climbing on the tanks. I'm like 15, six. I was 16 years. 16 years yeah. old so i was in high school i was wow. getting ready to graduate going into high yeah. school and it was it was it was amazing not like everybody think it was um from my standpoint of view it was just the looting fest yeah. and everybody yeah. had fun and the black businesses stayed there because they the boarded up and put and, black owned business on yeah, there and and they rebuilt the ones that got yeah. trashed mm -hmm. the insurance companies pay for mm -hmm. they got rebuilt um and the white businesses especially the the jewelry company yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. they moved out yeah, yeah. they they yeah. left and yeah. so um other than that it was a walk to dairy queen for that lemon ice cream y'all didn't know dairy queen used to have lemon ice cream <laughs> oh, lemon. And, uh -huh. and and come back and yeah. and that's my you know then that's that's all I know. Well, you know, Phyllis. Well, okay, I'm, I'm about to tell the truth about my family. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> you, you know, I'll say early in, early that morning, my uncle was a um, he was a, a businessman. He uh, what kind of business was he in? Well, you know, if you wanted somebody removed, you called him. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> Yeah, he, he was a businessman. You have to sell. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, if you need to get rid of somebody, you called him up. And he had a, he had a name that everybody kind of knew. Mm -hmm. And I can say because he's dead. My, my uncle's name was Johnny Green. Mm -hmm. So if you knew that name, you knew what he, you know, you yeah. Mm -hmm. You knew what he did. Anyway, he called our house. Uh, he called my house. And I was I lived on Northwest Detroit. Mm -hmm. Closer to Southfield than, than, than Detroit. Okay. But when the riots... Well, when the skirmish started, I was on the east side. Mm -hmm. If y'all really want to know, I was on Mac and Gratiot area. There it is. <laughs> there it is. And my aunt lived over there. there and it was more fun over there than where I live. Oh, uh -huh. that, she wasn't over there in Di uh, Diana Ross territory. <laughs> <laughs> she was hooding it up. Yes, uh -huh. So, you, you, you know, I was on that side of town. So, uh, but he called to see, tell my mom uh, what was going on. Then he called, she told him where I was. So mm -hmm. he called my aunt. Uh, which he was his sister and and let her know that there's some happenings on 12th street yeah and he told her that you know some things are happening he told her about the they raided a bar mm -hmm. the, the co white cops had raided this all-black bar and there was some shooting 
you know so our first question was who did he shoot i mean <laughs> because we we knew that you know but anyway he let us know that some things were going and it was getting bigger and it was getting bigger and that's all he said was and then he did say he said you're gonna be stuck over there where you at just watch you're gonna be stuck over there doing the whole riot okay so you know i wasn't exactly happy my mother wasn't happy no yeah. no you know so i'm like okay so i told you where i was and if anybody knew detroit you know where the heck i was i was in a part of detroit that they would steal your underwear and you wouldn't know till you went to the bathroom so you know uh my, my aunt ended up with a bunch of televisions at her house at one time <laughs> <laughs> TV in their room. Yeah, you know, she, had, she had televisions and she had friends coming to her house dropping stuff off on the way to somewhere else and and if we all know detroit detroit we have basements yes. in fact yes. everybody hung out in your basement yes, that's yes. because that was cool you had a fridge you had the old refrigerator yes. that your mother got rid of it was in the basement the old, old stove, stove. Yes. Was in, all that was in the basement yes. so another little but my, so my aunt had a store and her ended up with a little store in her basement uh, <laughs> <laughs> a thing that people had borrowed from other stores yes, yes. You know, and when they did martial law, we wanted to know what that was because we thought that must be cool. Yeah. Showed you we were crazy. And at that time, I went to Longfellow Elementary School. Well, Longfellow. Longfellow. So. We know where them good fella boxes came from. Longfellow. <laughs> The but, original school to prison pipeline. <laughs> <long time. laughs> we did have fights on Friday. Yes, we did. But, uh, you know, so I don't. Rem okay, now I read what Time Magazine said. I, I don't remember those those over 2,000 people that got killed. I don't remember that. Where? Uh, Time Magazine said that, girl. <laughs> All I remember is, like I said, they did a lot of looting. Mm. Uh, and at night, you know, I, was the, I wasn't the brave when I was crazy. But. We would walk to the certain areas and you saw black businesses board their store and they put on their black owned business. So yeah, you knew yeah. to leave that one alone. Yeah. White folks put it up there and it didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't work because we put ours in black and they put theirs in white, dummy. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so you knew not to bother certain businesses. Yeah. So everybody figured out it was, it was a strategic move. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't all out looting and rioting right. because yeah. exactly. if you do all out riot, they don't care who you are, you get hit. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, in Detroit, we're going to hurt us. We're going to hurt everybody else. Yeah. But during those days of then, the strange thing is, yes, D Detroit was separated, but we weren't segregated. Right. Mm -hmm. If you Because, yes, we had Greektown, but everybody went to Greektown, and Greeks were no no different than anybody else. We were right. all, we, we were separated as far as Greektown was over here and this is over there. Chilly but as a community, Chilly. as a community, we was all, all one. That's you know, yes. and, and we never, and so when everybody looked at the news and and read about the riot, I assumed we were sitting there trying to figure out what they were talking about. Yeah. There was, <laughs> there, there was some real exaggerations yes. in, in, in the news reporter. I remember them saying it was like right, right on our corner, and we're like, no, it's not. It's and not that's here. what caused yeah. us to go out and see what was going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's like you said, Greek town, you had a little Mexican town. Right. But that's just how we, that's because it was primarily Greek town, you had. Greek restaurants. Mm -hmm. Next time you had Mexican restaurants. It's Polish. Polish, had, mm -hmm. had Polish yeah. restaurants and stuff. But everybody could eat. There was no real problem. Mm -hmm. Never. And mm -hmm. so how it was portrayed, especially in the news, you know, the, the fighting and the things like that. And like you said earlier, um, the National Guard was on Bell Live. Yeah. And when they parked, they, they, we was drinking beer with them. <laughs> they came to the house. I remember they come to my dad's house, <laughs> parked the jeep out front, and had a beer, and kept going. So, so it was, it was, it wasn't all this, you know. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there probably was some altercations where they were involved. Yeah. I don't discount that. And I'm sure they probably did have to shoot something yeah. at somebody. I remember um, a, a, a. Uh, I can't tell if this is real or not. I don't know if it's real or not. I remember a um, news clip. And it may have been in a movie because you know, I was really young when this happened, but or it may have been on the news. And so I can't tell this clip. Of, I remember seeing a tank coming down Woodward. Okay. And I and I want to say it shot, it fired at a building. Um. But I didn't see that firsthand. I'm having a memory of an image that I right. saw. Right. Right. Yeah. Um. But for the most part, you know, when you say that somebody came from, you know. 
the the um, Coast Guard was on Belle Isle, mm -hmm. the National Guard was yeah. on Belle Isle. Yeah. Um, but Belle Isle, so everybody came to party. Yeah, you, Bella, you had the, yeah. had a beautiful yeah. fountain yeah. there mm -hmm. yeah. that, that changed colors at night. And you yeah. had it all That's night. It. Doing things in your car. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can tell you some stories about that because remember that the petting zoo out there and the deer went free at night. Yeah. And one time this deer stuck its head in my car while I was doing something. <laughs> Everybody screamed. I screamed. When I went screamed, the deer screamed. We all were screaming. The deer, this is my father's car. Oh God. That burned itself in my memory too. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that vision that I think you saw. Uh, that vision that I think. I think you saw was a, a a water gun it was a water gun shooting because i remember a, a water gun shooting at the people to stop them from moving oh, around yeah. blasting them yeah, blasting yeah. Them. yeah. it was a it was yeah. a water gun off mm -hmm. of a, 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 a apc or some kind of yeah. vehicle yeah. yeah yeah it was a water gun yeah, yeah. i remember that image i, I can't see i can't say that was a real image or not but i remember it being yeah i saw it before and I and I and, I, and it and it that also really stuck yeah. with me um, <clears throat> over these years. But yeah, the, 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 I want to see this movie. Right. I, I I encourage everybody else to see this movie because um, on the real, uh, the use of force in today's context, you can learn from that. Mm -hmm. um, if you see images like Ferguson, like uh, in another instances where you've seen the National Guard come out. I remember watching the Ferguson incident, and I'm looking at a at an LMTV. With a with a what appeared to be a um, 50 cal and it was pointing at civilians on the street but not firing. I said, why is that vehicle even there? Right. You know. So it, it's 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 a different thing when you when you have the backdrop of past riots, right, and incidences, and then you apply what you see today in some of the um, things that happening across America. Um, so it, it's it can be used as an educational tool, but I hope Hollywood didn't too. Hollywooded up for uh, yeah. uh, ratings and things like that because, yeah. like you said, it wasn't this big race riot like people had been portrayed. It, that's not how it started. It started as a fight mm -hmm. among and got bigger. And you know, um, there are lessons that can be learned from that uh, in, in in dealing with how America today still deals with um, uh, civil discord. But you, you know what? Also, we three can can attest to it. We're from Detroit. Mm -hmm. our, me our mentality and our growth is from Detroit. Mm -hmm. So right. that will never leave us. What people, people, when, you know, they think about Detroit as all violent, violent, violent. But what they need to understand is it's not with the violent, violent, violent. They need to realize that the blacks in Detroit, mm -hmm. we never would take it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were never the, <laughs> oh, okay, well, we'll no, we no. didn't, we, we didn't yeah. know what bow yeah. down was. Yeah. We didn't know what any of those things were. So the minute any of that happened, we was like, no, y'all crazy today and tomorrow too. Yeah. It, it's yeah. not going to happen. Where So people portray us as being aggressive, aggressive or bullying or whatever. And it's the fact and that, no, bullying. we grew up, we grew up not taking it. Yeah. <laughs> and not, not having to take it because, like I said, in Detroit, we grew up. Everybody kind of got along. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I didn't know worked. anything about racism and uh, was faced with racism right. until I left Detroit. Same yeah. here. There you go. Same yeah. here. Yeah. When I left yeah. Detroit, that's mm -hmm. when I mm -hmm. when I was faced with racism. Yeah. And that was coming back from Germany mm -hmm. on an airline when uh, a, a white lady t said, uh, "Get those little in kids away from me." I looked at her and I was like, "Excuse me." Yeah, that's when I, even in Germany I was not faced mm -hmm. with racism. It wasn't until I came back into the United States, right, that I, I was faced with it, and I and I was like, my husband mm -hmm. fights for your rights. Are you stupid, woman? Mm -hmm. And I, I went off on her, and I almost went on her, mm -hmm. but thank God for my husband and his stripes that I didn't do that. <laughs> But, you know, also, I can remember, uh, <coughs> such as parts of the riot, you know, when they showed it on the news, the outside, the, the news news, mm -hmm. they were showing parts of Detroit that most of us was like, so where is that at? Yeah. You know, yeah, I, 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 I you, you, know yeah. You, you were sitting there, so where the heck is that? Be because they were showing parts that weren't part of the riot, but were dilapidated anyway. Right. Yeah. You, you know, and they put right. them in the riot. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> Atlantic Mills was. We were sitting there like, where in the world is that at? Y'all don't know nothing about Atlantic Who? Mills. Atlantic Mills was your Kmart. 
Oh, no, yeah. for me. Huge I was going like, who? Who? Yeah. <laughs> Atlanta <laughs> Mills. Mm. It's where they're 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 wow. videotaping. Somebody Google that. <laughs> <laughs> it's where they're taping all those the the uh, that last Detroit movie they had one eight seven. Okay. Where they taped all of that at near the tire company that that that, that the big good, good, that, that's that good, the Rouge and... No, but this was in town. This okay. was in mm. town. Uh, I think it was on East Grand Boulevard, way down there near the end of East Grand Boulevard. Okay. Okay. Uh, or somewhere over right. there. There, there, because I used to walk to Atlantic Mills from my house. Mm. Okay. So yeah. Mm. Wow. Did you walk or catch your horse and buggy? No. <laughs> He's like, no, he didn't say that. No, he didn't Ow, say that. He me. Violence. Detroit is violence. Okay, okay well, I'm, I'm going to ask y'all this one question. <laughs> this one has nothing to do with the ride, but has to do with people need to understand our mentality. So how, how many nights or how many family members do we know slept on the table at Bell Isle so you could cook the next day and have your spot? <laughs> <laughs> Every family, the last Saturday in August, every family reunion, the last Saturday in August. Go out there about two o'clock in the morning, get these tables. And you, no, be you better be there. And you slept. And you slept. And people don't understand. You slept at the table. Yes. Joe, Joe's sitting there like what? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Joe, you slept on the, the table, and the that's why nothing was happening to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and then you you get you actually then, slept. If yeah. you're close to the road, <laughs> you put the first car. And then you stagger the cars back so as family comes mm -hmm. in, the, the, you move your stuff <laughs> and move in. Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. you couldn't park on the grass. Yeah, yeah. you couldn't park on the grass, so you just you made enough spot. You know, they're charging to go to uh, on Belle Isle now. Yeah, yeah. It's a Bear. cost to go on Belle Isle. A lot of people don't know that Belle Island used to be called Hog Island. Island. Island because the Native Hog Americans Island. lived there, and people don't realize that yes. Native Americans lived there. Yes, before it and they were French it, before it got French changed. Indians lived there, and they uh, and then well, yeah, they we put too. a lot of snakes on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to get rid of. Uh, no, it was uh, they it was Hog Island because they put well, all the hogs, hogs on okay. there mm -hmm. to get rid of all the snakes. Yeah, that was there so that they could make it a park and also people don't know detroit wasn't always a part of michigan exactly. detroit was part of canada which is like yes. you said detroit, yeah. detroit. Is, is the actual name for and detroit it was fort detroit so we were we detroit wasn't always part of the united yeah. states if it people check a, back a, a fort a military we uh, fort but what do you think now when you see and before we get rid go leave the segment what do you see okay now we we we've been through what we've been through we know we know and we know how we felt about what we know. What do you think now when they say it's a riot, like you in 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 uh, St. Louis and all? What do you think when you see it now, in terms of then? What do you see now? You know what I mean? Because we see them now, and you go, "What in the world are they doing?" I'm trying to formulate the, the, the right answer. Uh, I think it's just people being stupid. No, I think it's. I think it's it's the it's the lashing out right of people who feel that their government and the people they elected and the people they are paying to protect them are doing just the opposite. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it, the riot is the voice of of the unheard person, uh, the voice of, of of the person who's been disenfranchised. Right, uh, and that's their way of lashing out and and, and, and back. And the reason why it's so feared now isn't because of loss of life, it's because of loss of property, okay? Mm -hmm. And so if you if you take it a little bit further, you the people lash out and they burn down a building. What happens? Well, the city can't collect tax dollars from that building anymore. All right. The people, the insurance company must now pay those people who had merchandise in the building if they were insured properly, and then that goes away. But with the long period the long-term effect of that is that it's a loss of tax dollars. You're losing tax dollars, then people start to move away. If you lose, people start to move away, you lose more tax dollars. Right. And you can't pay for the police and the fire and all the other services because you've lost that tax base. So, and then the insurance companies has also lost a lot of money. Right. Okay. So it, it's, it's an economic um, backlash, why they fear it so much. So instead of addressing the reason why people want to riot, they address the riot. Right. And even in the aftermath, right. you don't address the reason of what caused it. You you said, oh, you shouldn't do that. It was this violence. It's violence. Well, usually a violent act 
was the reason why the riot started in the first place. Mm -hmm. Someone who got shot who shouldn't have been shot. Someone who got beaten who shouldn't have been beaten. Something bad happened until you address the original cause of that. You always will have that smoldering powder keg underneath the surface. And so um, when I see it today, it, 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 it both saddens me and it encourages me because it saddens me because people are acting out. Right. It encourages me because people are actually doing something and that can affect their government if they keep it if they keep it going. But when you right. when you see riots, you see police form a line. Mm -hmm. You can't cross this street here. Right. I don't want you to go why? Because this is the wealthier part of town. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to spill over over oh, here. Yeah. Keep it in your own neighborhood. Yeah. So if you're gonna riot, don't start the slowly filter it into downtown and then riot. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where the problem originated from. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I see it like that also but when I when I uh, originally said is people being stupid is because the riots today that they're doing it's not a riot a race riot it's not has nothing to do with race it has something to do with inequality with all peoples because these riots are not just black people fighting mm -hmm. it's almost like the civil rights movement they were everybody came to, together fighting against the oppressor and the oppressor right now is the the police force that 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 horrible police mentality that uh that hitler mentality do do what i say you you don't disrespect me you don't do this you don't do that well now right now with the killing of that 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 caucasian lady that white oh, yes, lady oh uh, yeah. we all black now mm -hmm. you know now all lives matter but i don't like the way they are portraying it is that she was such a good person she had no history of involved with the police well does that make me any worse because i got in trouble as a kid and she probably got off because of her privilege that it wasn't put in her records see that's that's the problem i have with that little incident and i posted something on that so uh when you say race riot race riots are no longer happening it's economic today. it's an economic rally it's right it, that's yeah. that's the right it'd be an that's more the, economic yeah economic and Equality of justice. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think they're race rights. I think they're e economic and equality of justice. And in in reference to the lady, uh, I believe she's in Minnesota. I, yeah. I, I want to say it was Minnesota. Minnesota. I want to say Minnesota. But um, what I found interesting is that in the previous um, instances where police may have used excessive force, you always saw Blue Lives Matter, Black to Blue, Stand by Your Officer, blah blah blah, all of these types of things. So I posted that. Blue Lives Matter, stand by your officer. When have we ever seen personal information about an officer being released mm -hmm. to the public like that? When have we ever seen photos of his family being released to the yeah. public like that through a, through any kind of medium? I've never seen it before. Maybe you know, maybe I've just been blind to it, but I've it, never it seen happened. it. Yeah. So, so if it if, if if that doesn't happen hasn't happened before in this volume, why is it happening now? Mm -hmm. Special, you don't, yeah. don't, you know, so the privilege. It's, it, it, it's, it, it's the thing, and so from what I understand, he didn't mean to do it. He didn't mean to, so. Uh, there's a lot of them that didn't accident. mean the shot. There's an accident. I've heard that many times. Mm -hmm. She was uh, a good person. I've heard that many times. He, he didn't was a good person. Or, or, They're good or people. I thought They're it's an accident. It so an accident. you know, I, 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 I follow no, this case a little bit closely. <clears throat> no, we're not all black. We're all oppressed. We're all oppressed. <laughs> we're all oppressed. And I want the oppression to be equal. Yeah. And I like the protections to be equal. So if you protected other officers in the past who've had problems of of, of unusual use of force, protect this officer as well mm -hmm. exactly. with those same protections. Yeah. The same rhetoric you used for um, uh, Mr. Castile, use on oh, use use in this case as well. That's it. The same lessons used for Tamir Rice. Using this instance yeah. as well, you know, innocence is innocence. I, I can I can go down my line when people were unarmed and got shot. There was a guy who was laying down with his hands outstretched, and he got and got shot. And I'm like, how was that possible? You know, so use these 
whatever protections you gave these officers when they did those things, give those yeah. same protections to this guy. Here. I'm not yeah. saying this guy is right. I'm just saying that he deserves the same protections that other okay. officers had. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna close this session right. out. And right. I want to thank you all for coming. Yeah. And 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 you know, we do need to go see that movie. We need to go see that movie because I'm gonna challenge that movie. We're gonna challenge oh, yeah. that movie. I'm gonna go see and then that wait a minute. Then after we see that movie, we're gonna come back. Okay. okay. We, we, we're gonna come back and say, okay, what 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 what? what? Yes. Yeah. What happened? How, really? much, how much Hollywood did we see in there? Oh, it's all. It's gonna be a lot of Hollywood. <laughs> nah, that, that's that's that, that's that's just where it's but gonna what, be. How, how, how much Hollywood? Yeah. And also, I want to know what parts of Detroit they're gonna use. I don't think they even shot it in Detroit. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100% shot it in Detroit. Uh, I'm not there. Yeah, we, we need to know. Uh, uh, oh. Because exactly. we're going to go there with look, we're going to go in there with watching eyes. Those areas have all been built up. Built up and, and torn down. And, 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 and so what they so, did. Yeah, they were, yeah, yeah, So yeah. they had to, they would have to have built a set to Because 12th Street is no longer, 12th Street is, Martin, is uh, Rosa Parks Boulevard now. Yeah, yeah. So, and it don't look nothing like it did then. Yeah. Yes, and so. over there in Jefferson, they have, I mean, Chrysler has taken over all of it. Well, so okay, yeah. That new Viper, well, it was the Viper uh, assembly back then, uh, but all those. So we need to we need to know. Okay. I'm gonna call back to my people in Detroit. Say, hey man, where did they shoot the movie at? That's and, and see what see anybody say what movie? <laughs> I, I know that's right. Okay, we're gonna take a break and right. come back. <laughs>